Hey everybody, it's Lisa Cheryl Simpson with Pageantry Now, and we are live at Miami Curves Week, and I have some of the wonderful ladies that help put this together, as well as the models, so I'm going to have them introduce themselves, say hi, and tell us where they're from, where who they were wearing tonight, and why they are part of the Go Red program. Hi, my name is Amanda LeCount. I live in North Hollywood, California. I was wearing Von Ray Designs, <laughs> and I am part of this because I just support the cause 100%. And she's 16, oh, yeah, so. And I'm 16. Working it, totally <laughs> working it, great. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sabrina. I'm from New York, but now I live in Florida. I was wearing Eloquy, and I go red for my friend April, who actually had a heart transplant like two years ago. Uh, Wow, congratulations. And I'm, Thank not, you. I'm not 16, so. <laughs> she's not, she's 17, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I said maybe 14? Uh, maybe? Oh, Jojo, here, take it. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jojo West. I am the face of Bejeweled Couture, one of the designers that uh, showcased today. And I'm part of the cause because my family has a history of heart disease, and it's really important that we address it. Hello, my name's Alexandra Johnson. Um, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I came in, I did some stuff for Bejeweled tonight. It was amazing. And I'm a part of the cause because I have a lot of women in my family that are very strong, independent women, and I think more women need support like that that don't have it. All right, so how do you guys feel about being called plus models? I love it. There's more to love. More I love that too. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't bother me because it's just a word. It doesn't mean anything to me. You know, it's, I think we put too much weight literally on uh, words. Yeah. And I think that, you know, some people literally like let it ruin them and it doesn't matter. It's not, it's like people, fat does not equal ugly. I, I have fat. I not, I'm not fat. You know what I mean? It doesn't no. matter. We're all absolutely. Ladies. Absolutely. I am a, a global ambassador for the body image movement and we're all about embracing yourself, whatever size color shape flavor you are because one of the challenges that we have all over the world is that women don't feel good about themselves and I think that this cause really giving us a label really doesn't necessarily help us or define us it just maybe gives us an idea of having designers that are looking more towards our body types and being able to accentuate yes. the beauty that we have within yes. Tell us about why you design. Well, I, I don't normally design. This was actually, uh, I, I am one of the, I'm the model for Bejeweled Couture and the um, chief operating officer of the company. Um, however, this time around, I had the opportunity to get a little creative and it worked out perfectly. Um, and as far as being called plus, because I am a plus model, um, as someone who has struggled in the past with um, eating disorders, um, and I was part of the industry when I was in my teens, right. like uh, Amanda here, and I quit because it, it was very difficult at that time. It wasn't, there wasn't a market for plus, there wasn't a market for anyone that was bigger than a size four. And I remember growing up thinking, I wish there was more people <clears throat> out there to represent me so that I didn't feel like an outcast. So it, I, it's great, it's important. I don't really, I mean, people get offended over plus, I think it's great. <laughs> awesome. Well stated. Jeez. Oh my gosh. How do you tell us? Oh, I mean, that's a lot of good ones. Um, honestly, in the beginning, I can't lie, plus was not something that I really understood. It's a very misunderstood word. I don't think anybody really even has a true definition for it. But at the end of the day, it is almost to me the word plus is just like extra. It's like we've got that little bit extra to show that's like personality, love for yourself, taking care of your body. I think a lot of people find that as a misconception, saying pluses, oh, it's big girls that want to do they what they want. They yeah. Yeah. yeah, when yeah, really, exactly. you know, I have beautiful friends that are naturally a size zero and more power to them. I would never tell them that they are less of a woman for not having extra things on their body. And the women that do have it, they just should embrace it and understand that that's just how our bodies are and that's what it was meant to be. Yeah. And that's what we represent.